Hi everybody, this is Sherry with Heart and Soulful back in the studio today. And I wanted to share a couple of um, quick tips before this little beauty goes off to um, its new home. Uh, I wanted to check with um, Dana, who's going to be purchasing this, to see um, if she wanted me to do something. And she did, so I wanted just to kind of briefly show you what I've done before this goes away. And then give you a little sneak peek. So um, I had asked her if she wanted me to uh, paint gesso on the heart, uh, folded heart, so that she could write on these pages too. I decided to only do the gesso on one side um, because I don't really, I want the, I want the heart to still look like book page. And so I didn't want to get that edge anyway. I could, I guess, do this part, but um, I just did one side. It's a very tedious process. Better to do it before you fold your heart um, if you're just going to do that one side. So I'll kind of show you what I'm going to do on the next one before I fold the heart, but um, I've gone ahead and done that so she can write on it. Um, it works best with a Sharpie fine point marker. You can use any kind of pen, but I found um, in my little test that that one worked the best. And then the other thing that I did um, as I was having to paint this, I, you know, opened up the heart and then I didn't have a flat surface. So it made me think of an idea that I saw, I think it was from Treasured Books, um, in a video I watched a while ago. On her journals, she had done um, kind of like a little deck so that if you're, if you're working on any pages that are uneven, when you're writing in your journal, you have something stiffer to write on. So I made something like that for her so that when she goes to write on this, it's the size of the book and she can just kind of have a little something to write on. So how I made mine, um, just because I had already finished the journal and everything, is I, I just went ahead and made a uh, took a photo of my front and back cover and then just copied that onto some nice paper and then laminate, laminated it in my laminator. So um, I just, when I did mine, I actually have one where the quality didn't come out very good the first time, but I, I've put it on one piece so I can just print it, trim it down and then fold it in half and then run it through my laminator. I had it have an eight and a half by 11 kind of size, I think. Um, laminator sheet and I didn't have anything else that I needed to laminate on the other side you know so I I ended up kind of wasting some but I'm going to save this because this will make great windows for um, some window envelopes or pockets or something so it's not really wasted I just didn't have anything else I needed to laminate so that's my little tip um, paint before you fold and uh, make a little deck that goes into your uh, book so that we'll have a nice little surface to write on. So Dana's going to love this, I think, I hope. So I get to actually hand deliver that. That'll be great. So the other little teaser I'm actually uploading now, it should be ready any minute. Um, I had a request after, um, after Dana's journal, if I would do a painted uh, book cover tutorial so I have done that. It's going to be a long one because I put it all in one video. But I ended up really liking how this turned out. So it's going to become its own series where I will go ahead and finish the whole rest of the book um, on camera. So I had already done some prep inside. But I have my, my pages that I'm going to do um, my little heart. And so I'm going to paint those ahead of time. So I will cover all that in a tutorial. But... Um, I hope you check it out because um, it's kind of a fun video. So have a great rest of your day and I'll go make something. Bye.